Hi guys, it's Jessica here with a ball jointed doll box opening video. This is uh, a doll I don't know how much I've talked about on my channel, um, maybe a little bit. This is a uh, Twiggling Ingenuis, and this I bought this doll from Reese, uh, who is Twiggling. Um, this was her personal doll from her personal collection. Um, I do remember now that I talked about this in a previous video um, because people thought, unfortunately, that I meant that there was going to be another pre-order. But um, yeah, I don't think Ingenuise or Elf Ingenue will come back um, because of uh, it's a, it was a kind of a special deal. Um, uh, she Ingenuise and Elf Ingenue are a um, a uh, um, cooperation between Reese of Twiggling and Nanolin of Magic Mirror. Um, and so that's what this doll is. Uh, and <clears throat> basically, uh, Anjanu, um was uh, Reese's sculpt. And then uh, Nanolin of Magic Mirror made a few um, changes to the uh, gave elf ears for one, made some changes uh, to the face, and uh, gave her long, um, what's going on here? All the information is on the back, so I don't want to turn it over. Uh, I guess I can leave that part there. Um, and uh, also made adjustments to, and made a large bust. <laughs> so, um, there is a large bust Artifacts Kindred body available now. Um, <laughs> this is gross. I just put lotion on my feet. And Lola came in here and started licking my feet. She's a weirdo. <laughs> okay, where was I? <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Uh, so this, uh, this doll... Um, let's see here. I just don't want to flip it up because, okay, yeah, this is taped, uh, because all of the addresses are on the other side. Um, so these are actually really nice for box openings, actually. Lola, stop licking my freaking feet, you weirdo. She's getting running in here all excited. So I, I just, I never thought that this was going to show up today. I am so happy and surprised because it's my day off. Uh, it shipped, today's Monday, and it shipped last Thursday from Spain. And I've waited a month or longer for packages from Spain. And so I just was kind of like, yeah, whatever, because it said it was going to, uh, they expected delivery was going to be uh, Monday. And so, gosh, I mean, so it shipped... Thursday like that is just so quick all the way across the world okay here we go so I'm not sure um, I know I don't know a lot about this doll as far as it's supposed to have the big bust um, there were two heads I'm not sure which head is it is um, Two different face-ups, I mean. Uh, so I'm not sure which one is in here. And these are probably the hands. And yes, they are the, they're supposed to be the long nailed hands, which these are just, these are my favorite hands. These are the the ingenuities or elf ingenue hands with the long fingernails and so you can't get those anymore they're not being made so uh, they're very special okay so we got these things <laughs> let's see is her head attached to her i think so we got these uh, oh no here's her head okay I thought it was attached, but it's not. No, don't eat those.
Oh. She suede this, I can tell. That's her, um, that new uh, suede technique that she has. My um, two teal mini kindreds were, t were uh, suede in that new method, and it's been holding up well. So there she is. Uh, so no face up. <laughs> I, I was thinking it was going to be the one, but I think we might have discussed doing the blank one. Um, because the, the two that had face-ups had some damage, so, yeah. She's very pretty. She's definitely got some staining here. I think maybe she did have a face-up. It looks like she had a face-up that was wiped. Okay. I'm going to get her out of these... COA. Oh. oh, the doorbell rang. Hold on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, I think this is a wig, but I think it is a mini fee sized wig. Um, I do have a SD sized wig coming at some point this week. But I don't, th I think that she would have just been sending it today, so I don't think it's going to come to you. But let's finish opening this girl. I'm excited because she, she suaded her, so I don't have to suede her. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that a lot. And I'm really interested to... Um, see this new swinging method on a larger doll. Oh, there she is. Very pretty. Oh, and she's got the big boobs. I'm kind of interested to compare. this on the banister when I ran out <laughs> to check the mail or answer the door because the mailman was there. Um, so here is, oh neat, okay, so oh, so there's the Obsidian. That was the bust. I never, I never knew that the bust was something that was offered that people could buy, but I guess it was. Um, and uh, there was some discussion about bringing it back. Oh, I never, I never saw this one before. Yeah, it's the bust. It's kind of a, that's a bit of a quirky. I've never seen this photo before. There we go. I've never seen that. It's a little bit quirky. So there is the the bust body that you could buy with the um it doesn't have the arms and she's got the hands hanging across her. That's just really funny to me for some reason. Um but there is uh is that Anjanouise or Elf Anjanou? I think that that's an ingenuise and then there's a regular ingenue yeah yeah that's that's a kind of a quirky picture and i i love her old logo i think it's so pretty um you know she's got her new branding and stuff but i think i think the old um the old branding was uh, was very pretty um so here is the COA, and skin tone tan, configuration, uh, 
low, large chest and long nails. Let's see, does it say who's, um, Weiju Islandall. I just re I just recently realized that Weiju and Islandall were the same. Um, uh, uh, casting service, basically. So Weiju um, is Islandall and cast Islandall's dolls. Uh, and a uh, interesting fact is that Pasha Pasha doll uh, is actually casted by Island Doll as well. Um, <laughs> uh, and so this, uh, I don't know if their tans uh, are improved now, um, but you can see on this head uh, some of the discoloration. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the, the video camera. Um, but my other tan, Anjanui's, uh, she had some discoloration on her face um, that uh, a face up covered fine. Uh, but yeah, that's um, their, their tan. So, oh, does this have the year? Let me see if this, because it's 2014, yeah. 12, 26, 2014. So these dolls uh, were going out at the end, the end of 2014 and the beginning of 2015. And then the long pre-order, the long layaway, it's called the long layaway, was uh, 2016, excuse me, 2015 to 2016. And um, it was the one that, went way longer than anybody ever thought it was going to. Um, but yeah, that, so these were the dolls and these dolls were before the body was changed. Um, so Risa said that every time she gets her doll back from the caster that she makes changes to it. Um, but as far as this, uh, the dolls that were casted in the long pre-order, the long layaway of 2015, that is when the different body configurations came out. And that's where uh, the long torso, the long torso and the short torso. So um, the configuration that's closest to this now would be the short hip or short waist um, as I call it, uh, versus, so, uh, short hip and, um, long legs would be, uh, the configuration, but I think I'll have to do a comparison because I don't want to stay, say wrong at this point, but this doll is, it might be actually taller than the tallest, um, I'll have, to, I'll have to check on that to be sure. Uh, but now that I see these boobs, I can definitely see the difference in them um, from the ones, so these are the ones that Nanolin sculpted basically, um, versus the ones, the big bust that's available now. Um, so uh, I suaded uh, Sugar Glow Lights um, on Genoese for her and that doll the hook had come had gone down inside of it and uh, that was a pain to get out and now I'm always sure to put a much a big enough hook <laughs> that that's not going to happen um, on any of my dolls because that was very traumatizing. <laughs> I managed to get it out. It took me, I think it, it took me about 45 minutes, um, but I was able to get it out and without damaging the doll. Um, but yeah, this is the, basically what would I would be consider the original body. Um, and one of these days, if people are interested, I can film a video showing comparisons of 
old body and versus the new, you know, all the configurations that are available now and the, the differences. If people are interested in that, I, um, uh, that would be a, a video I could make. Um, yeah, so the suading is very nice. Um, like, it's actually, this is a very heavy doll, very big doll. <laughs> it's hard for her to hold her leg up. Um, let's see if she can hold it up. If she can do that. There. So she can hold it up that way. Um, but yeah, very, very beautiful doll. Okay, let's put, I'll put her hands and her head on. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I stupidly had this set on the ground out here and Toby had his head in here just chowing down on these. So let's really hope that these are uh, the rice, the ones that are made out of rice. And knowing um, Reese, it probably is. It's probably the kind that dissolves and they're biodegradable. Yeah, okay. So there it goes, it's basically disintegrating. Okay, phew! <laughs> okay, I went ahead and set this up because I was really interested um, to see the differences between the old original body, which is the Anjanui's, the tan um, uh, girl with the elf ears. Uh, she is basically the original body, um, and she has the large bust that was sculpted by Nanolin. Um, and so that's, right away, that difference is, is pretty interesting. Um, I never, I had that doll here, and it had she had the big bust, and but I didn't directly compare them, and now I can see how different they actually are from um, the new bust, the new big bust that Reese sculpted for her girls. Um, uh, and I really like both. Uh, I, I would definitely say the one, in my opinion, the one that Reese sculpted is, um, a larger cup size is what I think. Um, but, uh, very pretty. Uh, they're, they're, they're all really beautiful. Um, so I'll, uh, yeah, so Anjan, Anjanui's is uh, the original, um, and then after uh, that last release is when the long pre-order or long layaway of 2015 was, and um, that's when all the, the body configuration options that we have now, that's when they were first offered. Um, and so all these other girls are post 2015. Um, any dolls that people got in 2015 would have been the old style body. Um, because, uh, and I didn't put her up here just because it's too hard to get her shoes off. <laughs> um, too hard to get them off and on, but I uh, I had the first wave of dolls from the long layaway of 2015. Um, so here uh, on this end here, we'll start. That's uh, the ga a gamine with the large bust, the largest bust, uh, and the long hips or long waist as it is. Um, and long legs. Um, and then this gamine in the mint resin, she has the short hips or short waist um, with the long legs. Uh, and I, in my opinion, I think that the, the, the hips are wider. Um, yeah, I think the hips are a lot wider and uh, the legs are a lot curvier and thicker on this girl. And it's funny because um, a few weeks ago I had this girl out 
and I was still very much thought of her after handling this short girl, so short waist, short hip, um, and the short legs, I was handling this girl and feeling very, feeling like she was very long, like just so very long and lean. And uh, when you compare her to the ingenues, um, she's very, very curvy. Uh, she has a lot of curves and there's a lot of curving going on here. Um, whereas this comes up a lot straighter. Um, so it really is a quite a change. Um, and that's one thing I don't think I really initially realized how different um, th that I thought of this doll as, well, this is the same as the original and it's, it's not, it's, it, there's a lot of differences. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I thought that was interesting and um, it's, it's, yeah, it's right in front of you. You can see it, but uh, as you are playing with these dolls and um, how they move and how they do things, uh, it, it you notice it in different ways, I guess is how I would say. <laughs> um, this, this girl here, she's actually got my gray gamines. <laughs> They're from the same cast casters, let's say that. They're from the same casters and the same round, um, so they're identical, um, but uh, I don't like the combination of the long hip um, or waist with the short legs. Uh, to me, it just looks unbalanced, and uh, I don't I don't care for it. So I switch those two because <laughs> um, uh, I like the long, long, the short, short, and the short, long, but not the long and short. <laughs> so. Anyways, um, yeah, let me go ahead and turn it around. Okay, guys, I uh, wanted to be sure to show you her with some clothes on. Um, she's actually wearing uh, my only Raokin corset that was made for uh, a Twiggly. And um, yeah, uh, all my other corsets that uh, that my um, uh, twiggling girls are wearing are ones that I made. <laughs> this is my only Rowokin twiggling corset. <clears throat> and it was uh, not a size of doll that, sorry, it wasn't a size of corset that Raokin, um, there was a period of time where they were offering commissions. And uh, it just so happened during that short period of time, I guess, that they did have a twiggling body. Um, and <clears throat> so this, this corset uh, was made on the, for the original body. Uh, and so uh, this, this corset doesn't fit um, the newer, short torsoed girls very well um, and uh, it fits the old bodies the best of course and uh, the girls with the longer um, longer hip or uh, long waist it fits it fits them pretty good too um, and it does have these little straps but I'm I'm a her version must have had the smaller bust um, because uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it can't extend. <laughs> it's, it's not big enough. Uh, the straps aren't long enough to go around um, with, uh, with the larger bust size. I just thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, I love this corset. It just doesn't fit uh, um, the majority of my twiggling girls. Uh, but I, I, I had to get it out and put it on this girl because it fits her very nicely. Um, but yeah, uh, the corsets that I make, um, the ones that I make to fit the majority of my girls won't fit uh, the older girls and won't fit uh, the long torsoed girls as well. It, they, you can make it work, <laughs> um, but it just isn't as nice a fit. So. 
um, but I'm very, very happy with her. Uh, oh, the other thing that I love about this older body is that uh, I have several pairs of shoes that I really, really love, um, and they only fit the older girls. Um, and uh, so it, it seems that the older girls have smaller feet. <laughs> so I, I think that's pretty cool. But she poses like a dream. Um, I'm super grateful to Reese for suading this girl for me. Um, I was, I had forgotten that she said she was going to do that. Uh, and so I had it in my mind that um, tomorrow that I would maybe suede this girl. <laughs> so, so I just wanted to share her all put together here. And hopefully this year, it's my goal this year to get all of my girls that still need face-ups. Let's see, how many do I have that need face-ups? Um, this doll has two heads, so if I count them both, so one, two, three, um, so I have six girls, twiggling girls that need face-ups, and so I really, really wanna make that a goal this year to get them sent out, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, bye-bye.